Hi guys. Just trying to get, let's see, what can I do? Um, more options. Share to a group. All right. All right, I think I have everything set up. I'm a little crooked. Let's see. I don't know whether it's my camera or this. Let's see. Bear with me a sec. Uh-oh. I don't know whether I'm making it worse. Let's see. How's that? I'm going to up a little bit. All right, I think I'm ready. <laughs> I'm still crooked. Oh my goodness. All right, let's see. How's that? I hate that I have to wait till my computer catches up. Um, let's see. I think it's... I don't know. It's still kind of crooked. Let's see if I can kind of get it straightened out. All right. I'm done. I'm done messing with it. Hi guys. This is Donna from Donna's Creative Space. Hello and happy Friday. Woohoo. It is Friday. Um, what is today? August. Oh my goodness. Six is it? August 5th. Sorry. August 5th. So here I am and I am going live. If you're watching, live please say hello if you're just um watching the, if you're watching the replay you can say hello and comment too and um especially since i am giving away one of the cards i make each week so you'll want to comment because what i'm doing is i'm putting all the names into a bucket and pulling out a winner and um, that person i'll send them the, the card if they'd like some people might not want to share their address, but um, I have no way of mailing it to you if I don't have your address. Anyway, so I have we're gonna we're gonna make a new card today, and it's a it's a fun fold, isn't this cute? It's called a pop up fun fold, where the back is where you put your little sentiment. So we're gonna make one of these in a different color, but I'm using the cup of tea set because that's what I've been using. That's what I've used to design my um, August cup of tea class. So, just to get a couple things out of the way. Uh, one, two, three. I'm missing one of my cards. One, two. Oh, there it is. All right. So, I have my August cup of tea card class to go. And these are the four cards that you'll be making that you'll get a kit on. And um, those are the four cards. You'll get the kit to make two of each of the cards so the kit will make eight cards you'll need to use your own stamp and dies where necessary I will cut out whatever I can for you ahead of time but you'll need to like this one you will need to um, stamp and then cut out afterward this one everything will be punched and die cut I'll die cut those for you this is a die cut and these are all die cut so it's really just this one so it's not too bad if you have to either fussy cut or um, if you fussy cut, if you don't have the dies, if you have the dies, you can go ahead and, and cut everything out after you after you um, stamp stuff. But we're not allowed to, as demos to um, give out stamped images like that. All right. So before I go further, just a couple of quickie housekeeping. August, we still have. Um, Gosh, a little over three weeks, I think, left to join my team, my Sage Tampa's team. Here's the, all the information about what you get when you join. We have that great planner. I've showed it a couple of times. It comes with the planner and a ton of inserts. It comes with three notebooks, dividers, um, a bunch of stickers, and it also comes with a stamp set. So it's, um, I, I, wrote, I wrote it right down here. So it includes the planner, planner pages, monthly divider, 
pages, four sticker sheets, a movable bookmark, the making plans, stamp set, and three journal notebooks. It's a really good deal to join. Plus, you'll get to choose $125 in product and only pay $99 plus tax. Shipping is free, which that alone is a great savings because that's, gosh, that's almost like $13 savings because uh, shipping is, a, I think it's 11% now. So 10% would be $12.50. So of course, it's going to be more than that. Um, so that's the join deal, and I would love to have you on my team. Um, we meet once a month on Zoom. Most of my, most of the people on my team are hobbyists, which means they're just um, getting, they join so that they could get their discount of at least 20% um, on all their orders. So whenever they purchase their product, 20% off, which is awesome. And then um, some of them are selling their cards. And making a little money that way that way it helps they put that towards their their um, shopping each month but um, we meet once a month in a zoom meeting right now because I have uh, team members that are all over the place and it's a small team but we are spread out and um, we do a creative project and then we I might talk maybe five ten minutes about business stuff in case anybody has any questions you know current promotions and what have you and um, we do a, a make and take sometimes we do mystery stamping um, there's usually well there's always door prizes and then I give prizes in awards for top sales and um, we play games um, well we played bingo the other last month boy we played bingo I must have given out a ton of embellishments but it was really fun so that's what we do at our meetings. Plus, you get a discount on my card class to go kits and my virtual card class. All right. So I'd love to have you on my team. If you would like to talk to me more about it, you can contact me at Donna Singleton 33 at yahoo.com. You can visit my blog, Donna's Creative Space .com, And in the upper corner, there's a little button to sign up for my newsletter list um, for my email list. And you can also put in there that um, you'd like to talk to me and you'll have my email when you see it on there. Okay. Second thing is the paper pumpkin kit. The last day to get next month's paper pumpkin, which is, let me see if I can grab, um, oh gosh, it's not, is it handy? No, it's not handy. I wanted to grab, um, the flyer, but it's sunflowers and, um, we're going to get two ink spots instead of one. Usually we just get one ink spot. The ink spots, a little ink, little ink pads like this they're about I guess maybe one one and a quarter inches it's a great way to test out the colors before you buy them that way you can but there's two coming in um, August um, excuse me coming in August box plus if you subscribe under me you will also get I've joined up with three other demos and we are putting together or we put together a tutorial of alternative projects and um, all my paper pumpkin subscribers are going to get that in fact I'm sending out we just did July's um, so that will be sent out probably later today so um, if you are joining under me that is another perk of joining under me you'll get a and and this month is really good because or I should say July is really good because there's two card alternatives a scrapbook page and a a bag a, a little gifty bag with a little spa I think it's a spa mask or something inside of it but it's really cute so if you would like to join my paper pumpkin team that is my I mean I'm sorry if you'd like to subscribe unto me that is the um Hi, Susan. How are you? That is the sign up to sign up under me. You can, like I said, always contact me at Donna Singleton 33 at yahoo.com and I will help you with whatever. So my card class to go, I told you about, if you're not familiar with that, they come bagged like this. Um, well, this is actually, that's a virtual one. Hang on. Let me see. Hang on. Let me just reach over and grab this is the card class because it's a little bigger because the virtual is four cards um this is a little different because this was was this june's this was june's i think uh, i don't think i have any july's left but this was 10 note cards and you got all the supplies but um that was the sweetest cherries i have a couple of those left and i have a couple of my virtual my cottage rose one but they come bagged like this you get all the supplies the envelopes you get the card class to go is a little more you have to um, purchase fifty dollars in order to get it but you get a little more in it you get printed 
um, a printed tutorial and also the private link, a uh, link to a private video so you could either go by the tutorial or watch the video. It's best to watch the video also because I do give some hints and tips along the way for, um, you know, maybe tying bows or or stamping a certain way, but you can certainly just use the, the printed instructions. So that's the cl card class to go. If you spend $50 or more, you get it for free. It's eight cards, but when you do six months in a row, you're also going to get, after six months, after six consecutive months, hi Sherry, after six consecutive months, you will get a $25 shopping spree from me, and you get to choose the product. And um, so that's just a thank you for um, being a loyal, that's like a kind of a loyalty perk for doing it for six months in a row. And so, like I said, this, these, or these are this month's August cards. You will get enough supplies to make two of each of these. All right. I think that's it. I, I'm supplying all the twine and ribbon and, like I said, die cutting, punching, whatever I can for you. Your little bows, I'm tying all those. What else am I doing? This, yeah, I'll tie that bow, but you'll have to put that other string on. Yeah, that's about it. All right, so because I'm doing this card class and I had everything out, um, I'm going to use it for my my um, video today. We are going to make a fun fold. Oh, I have to announce last week's winner. So if you're watching, I know I only see a couple of comments here. Um, but if you're watching, leave a comment because your name goes into drawing. And Karen H, I don't see, Karen H hasn't said hello today. I'm not sure if she's watching. But Karen, you have one. Um, well, these two are a little different. This, this is what we made last week. So um, I had made that ahead of time. And this is what we made in class. We made the, um, um, gosh, crushed curry and granny apple green versions. Hi, Pauline. Um, thanks for watching. So, so Karen H, um, her last name, um, oh my goodness, I have it written down. Karen, oh gosh, I thought I had it written down. Ha Hallerston, Hal uh, I have it written down somewhere else. <laughs> I don't have it right here, but it's Hallerton or Hallerston, but you know who you are. You, this, there was only one Karen H that made comments last week. So I give you from today, today's video, until Monday around noontime. And hi, Ellie. Congratulations. Oh, congratulations to, yes, to Nance, to Karen H. So Karen, let me know. You have your choice. I'll even, I mean, I made this ahead of time, but you can choose the crushed curry version, the granny apple green version. Now, this was the fun fold that we made. And, um, or you can choose my Blackberry Bliss one. I, I, it doesn't matter to me which one you choose. You can choose um, any one of these. Now, um, if Jill, Jill D is watching, so this was last week, so that I'll wait for Karen to tell me which one she wants. Now, last week was um, Jill and, was it Jill? Yeah, so, tra oh, tra yeah, Jill, Jill. Jill, if you're watching, say hello. You have your choice of these two. If I don't hear from you today, I am going to just um, pick one. I think I'll send you this one because that's probably what you'd like to have, a birthday card. But let me know which one you would like. Um, you, can, you can have this one if you want. That's a watercolor. And you can make this, you can put a sentiment, any sentiment on this one if you'd like. But... If I don't hear from you back, if I don't hear back from you today, I'll just pick one and send it to you. So that was from a couple weeks ago. And then I pulled a new name for this first go around of doing this. And I pressed, picked TZ, which was Tracy Z. And um, Tracy, I did contact you and you said you'd decide which one. But I want to know today because I want to get these out in the mail. So Tracy, let me know which one. The... Um, pink you're so hip version that was the sweet sorbet i should say and this is the orchid oasis are oh, you really are the best version all right so i will just have to if people because i do know i do know tz's tracy i know tracy z's address so i can just pick one and send it to her if she doesn't get back to me i know jill d i'm pretty sure jill 
It's Jill, and she signs on here with a guy's name, too. Um, I'm pretty sure it's the same Jill, so I just got to make sure. And then, again, again, if you missed it, Karen H. So, I think that's all the business I have to tell you about. That's enough, right? Okay, so let's make this. This is called a pop-up card, and I'm going to make it in a different color version, but I'm still going to use the cup of tea set because I have it out, and um, I, I just love this. And mm -hmm. I'm, all d I'm all finished making my um, cards for the card class my design so I said I'll, I'll pull out the paper so I have everything pulled out I'm gonna show you what you need and what I'm using is the designer paper I'm using this is called where's the back piece the T boutique designer series paper and I've showed you guys this before at the back on the back of all our designer paper Stampin' Up gives you a list of the colors that it coordinates with it doesn't mean that you can only use those colors you can use other colors. You can use whatever you like with it. And sometimes they can't necessarily name every single color that's in every single piece. They give you the, the a general um, a general list of coordinating colors. So that's how I choose my cardstock to go with it. So I love Fresh Freesia. So we're going to use Fresh Freesia. And I'll give you this, what you need. We're going to cut this in half, but we're going to start with a card base that's five and a half by eight and a half. And I'll just show you what we need. We need one piece that's two, piece of white that's two and a half by three and a half. I have two because I might try two different stamping um, designs. I'm not sure yet. And then you need two pieces of design a series paper that are one and five eighths by five and a quarter. I don't know. Did I tell you two and a half by three and a half? I'm sure you can see it right there. And I will leave all this out here so that you can go ahead and um, either take a snapshot or quickly write things down. Now, you need a piece of colored cardstock that is two and three quarters by three and three quarters. I have two because I, I haven't decided yet which one I'm going to like better. So I have two, but you only need one. In fact, just so that you can see it better on the screen since it's fresh freesia, I'll do that. All right, so you do need two pieces of designer series paper. I'll leave it like that. Then you need another piece of designer series paper that's two and a quarter by five and a quarter. Now, again, I have two pieces here. You only need one. Um, I am going to do this piece on top. You only need one, but like I s just said a minute ago, I am. I haven't decided what which I w want to use. So I have. I have. Um, what do you call? It? choices to make all right and then for the back piece remember our our um where we're going to write a little note to the person is on the very back and that is two and a quarter by five and a quarter and that's white all right so that's everything that you need so um i'll leave that there for a second and you can go ahead and so it's one piece so when i put it in parentheses a number in parentheses that's how many pieces you need so that's what you need for today's um card now there might be, oh, I think we need a little bit of scrap of white. So let me go ahead and just, because I do want to cut out some little tags. So I'm just going to do this. I'm going to write the word scrap. I know some people like to just kind of like take a, a quick picture of the screen when all the, all the numbers are there. All right, so, all right, that, so that's what you need. All right, there might be something, I mean, we need twine and embellishments, but we'll get to that as we go. But this is what you need basic cutting. All right, so let me pick all this up now that you've seen all this and put it all to the side. Oh, you need ink, of course. Um, and I've got out, I'm not sure what I'm, I'm, I'm going to do the leaves. I'm going to make the same. I really like this. Um, the cup and the the way the you can put these excuse me the um, greenery and the flowers on here so I'm gonna I've got out parakeet party fresh freesia and the orchid oasis now parakeet party and orchid oasis are two of our new ink colors so um so let's let's get right into this so I gotta get my trimmer out and um I do have my little oops uh oh I just smashed into the camera I hope I <laughs> big shake <laughs> so we need a piece that's five and a half 
all right and I'm going to cut it like this because it's got to be five and a half by eight and a half. I'm going to line it up on five and a half and I'm going to cut it. All right, and you save this. This can make another card. All right, now we have to do some scoring. And I do have a long, um, a six and five eighths, so I am going to have to go past the edge. So the great thing about our Stampin' Up! trimmer, some, a lot, majority of trimmers do have this leg that goes out, which is nice, so that you can cut something longer. Or score something um, but this trimmer um, this is fairly cheap it's not expensive at all in fact I'm curious now I want because I meant to look this up and um, oh here it is okay let's see where are we number five the paper trims only $25 so it's on page um, 155 of the catalog it's right here with the arm open so it is here, I'll leave this right here. Let me see if I can get that in case you are interested. I'll leave it there for a second. Let it focus, but that's $25. It's an awesome trimmer, and it does have a scoring blade, which is the light gray, and then the cutting blade is the dark gray. Dark gray. And you can get replacements for these. It comes in a package of four, I think $12. And, well, let me look. It's right here. I'm just looking at that. Yes, cutting blades, four for $12. $12.50. I'm sorry. I was wrong. So you can get four blades. You don't, um, they don't have a replacement but for the, the scoring blade, but it really doesn't wear down because it's just a kind of a bent piece of metal, like a little metal disc that scores thing. But the blade does wear down when you do a lot of cutting. Okay, so we are going to score on this piece. So we're going to score. Let me just fix the edge of this. It looks like it's a little stuck out. All right. Um, we are going to score at the first one is one and seven eighths, which is just an eighth less than two inches. And if you're wondering what an eighth is, eighth is like two two of those little sections, two ticks kind of. See that? See how there's two little spaces to the left of my paper? So one and seven eighths. I'm going to score at one and seven eighths. Then we're going to slide it over and score at three. I'm going to line it up here at three. I wonder if I should zoom in a little bit. Let me see. I just zoomed in. Let me see if it catches up. Oh, now I got to slide down. <laughs> okay, so now, so that was at one and seven eighths right there. And then we're sliding over to three. Did I do it? No. So sliding over and do it at three. And then we're going over to five and a half. And then the whole reason we have the arm open is because now we have to go to six and five eighths. And six and five eighths is just an eighth past half an inch. So it's two tick marks past half an inch. All right. And we do another score there. All right. So there we have it. So I can remove my trimmer. I don't think we need that again. All right. So I will review. We have five and a half by eight and a half. We scored it at one and seven eighths, at three, at five and a half, and then six and five eighths. All right. Now, we are going to put that aside. Now, we are going to start decorating with designer paper because I just, I like to get things off my table, get all the little bits and pieces out of the way. So when you go to, um, position these, they're going to go, these two pieces of designer series paper are going to go off to the left. Uh, I'm sorry, the left and the right far edges, all right? You have this little area here, all right? And I'm going to, um, I think I'll, I will score it for you, I'll um, crease it for you now. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece and fold it towards the center, right? And then this piece away. All right, and then we'll do the same thing on this side. We're going to take this inside. You know how there's two lines close together? Maybe I should kind of come back out. Let me let me unzoom again. Hang on a sec. I forgot I was zoomed in. I think that's back. All right, so now I'm going to fold, fold in and then fold back the side sections. All right. And you, this could be a card. This could be a different type of fold, but we're decorating on this side, all right? 
So when you're putting down your designer paper, and the designer paper was one and five eighths by five and a quarter, when you're putting down the designer paper, try to look at where what's going to show because part, when it's open, the whole piece will show, but when it's closed, only a little bit is going to show. All right. So you might want to put like if I put this one on this side, and when it's closed, you don't see too much. Right, so just be a little cognizant of when you put down your designer paper. So on this one, I have more teapots on this very edge, so that'll show. That'll be nice. So I'm, that's what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to put, um, grab my designer. I mean, grab my um, seal. Sometimes you got to give it a little go, get up and go. And these are going to go on the inside out on the in, inside of the this left this far section and it's just going to get centered so I'm leaving about an eighth of an inch all the way around I'm just eyeballing I'm not measuring and then this won't go on this side now don't forget to comment so your name goes into the drawing you might win this card all right so then this one's going to go on this side and since the teapots are more towards the right of the designer paper, that way they'll show better. So, so you'll see what I mean when I do this. See that? So now we can see the teapots there and there. All right, so that's that. Now, what I haven't decided yet is what I'm going to do for this designer piece. Because, oh, that's pretty. It's going to either be this one or this one. What's on the other side? Yeah, it's going to be either this or this. And I haven't decided yet. I want to see what my... Um, what my design ends up looking like. All right, so we're gonna do some stamping. So I have my piece that's two and a half by three and a half. Oh, before we start pulling out the ink, what I want to do is now this is the this is the tea this is the cup of tea bundle, and you have the these are the teacup dies and of course the cup of tea um, stamp set. So I use both of these in my card class to go. Um, and what I like in this is it has this cu these cute little tags. So I'm going to take this one out and we're going to cut a couple of tags because um, we're going to hang, hang a little tea bag outside of, I call them the tags, but they're, they're tea bags. So we're going to cut those out and I'm going to pull in my little mini cut and emboss and get out a scrap paper and where did I put? Oh, here they are. I laid everything out and I wasn't sure. So I'm going to use my my um, number one and my number two. And I'll have a second number two that goes on top. So I'm just going to position this on here. And I'm, I'm going to stamp after I cut these out. So I don't have to worry about it. Um, I don't have to tape it down. That's why I have all these little pieces of tape up here. I kind of save them for the next piece. So I'm going to just cut a couple of the tags um, just because it takes two seconds and just in case I mess up, I know I could use the other side, but this way we have a couple ready. And you know what? I'm here. I'm just going to do another one. Sorry to make you wait, but We'll just do three quickies. That way I don't have to pull it out again in case I mess up. All right. But we always have the other side. I love my mini cut and emboss machine. <laughs> All right, let's put this aside. Hey, do you guys remember, I don't know if you remember July's class. I, um, it was the trees for sale. I just thought of this because I was thinking to myself that I gotta put this back, right? Well, the, the Trees for Sale card class to go kit had one of the trees had this little teeny star on it. And I had cut, when I made my samples for the class, I had cut the stars out with the die set that come, came in the Trees for Sale. And then I lost the die for that. So I had to use a, a star from a different set. I used it from that um, Give It a Whirl, has that Give It a Whirl set. That is, oh, I should grab that and show you. Hang on. Um, do I have it handy? If I have it handy, I will show it to you. One second. 
Oh my goodness. Yes, I do have it handy. This is the Give It A Whirl die set. And it's, it's, yeah, Give It A Whirl dies. It's made for a particular technique of making one of those cards that like a, that you can kind of put three different pictures and you have one little hole and you can, with your finger, slide it around like a picture, like a circular picture thing that can slide. So you can see different things as you whirl it around, I guess. But I've never even made one of those. But what I like about this set is everything that comes with it. So you have like um, twice, like two sheets of dies, right? I have all the, the good ones on this one, but I wanted to show you these little arrows. Here's the little window that would cut out out of that circle. And then you have these little directional arrows that would actually, they don't cut. They just kind of um, cut into your cardstock. They don't cut out. These actually get cut out. And a couple of dots, um, and there's the, the shape here, and a little rectangle shape too. But this is, I put everything on this magnetic sheet because look, you get three clouds, you get one, two, three, four hearts, you get a circle, a stitch circle. Um, this actually cuts out like a frame circle. And then you get a banner, and I already said the four hearts, right? So then you have these two sets of three, dot, three stars each, so you can cut a bunch of stars at once because what I lost, the trees for sale, I found it. And I found it when I was organizing my embellishments. I went through and I was um, going, I pulled out like, I have I have like a, here I'll show you, I, like all my embellishments that I use over here. And I was cleaning up and sorting them back into their things. And as I, I don't know which fold it was in, but as I'm sorting things, all of a sudden I see this thing down the bottom, like, oh, Oh my God, what's that? And I went like this and I was like, that's my stars from my tree lot dies. And I'm so excited because you can't get the tree lot dies anymore. They sold out. That was a celebration item. But I thought, oh, I lost, I lost my, my stars for it. And I had to use this star. It was a little bit bigger, see? But I don't, I didn't get any complaints. So I don't think anybody cared too much. I told them in the video, um, but anyway. But this set here is this Give It A Whirl dies. It's really a nice set to have because of all those hearts, dies, hearts, dies, star dies, clouds. All right. I sidetracked a little. Sorry about that. Okay. Let me move this aside. Okay. So, so we have some tags. And just in case I make a mistake, I have a little extra. And that was our scrap paper. But anyway, I'm so excited. I haven't put those stars back into my tree lot dies, but I, I was just happy that I, I found the piece. All right. Oh, my goodness. Is everybody ready? We're supposed to have a lot of rain today and tomorrow. Thunderstorms or something. It's supposed to be really hot today, and then it's going to get, um, I don't know. I think it's going to break like with a thunderstorm. All right. Now, I showed you this paper, right? Did I? Maybe I didn't. This is the, um, I'll show a little bit because it's all cut up. This is the, what's it called? Cup of tea. I have a full pack here called Tea Boutique. And you can see I've done a lot of cutting in it, but it's really pretty. We're using, I use, this is the one I used on this card. Just so you see, I used the front on the two side pieces, and then I used the dots right there. But it's such a fun paper. Um, all right. I'm getting sidetracked. All right, so we're going we're gonna to stamp this. And I really like the striped cup, so I may do it again. I was trying to decide, do I want to do it in the purple or... No, I think I want to do it in the Orchid Oasis. If I do the cup in the Orchid Oasis, the greenery in the Parakeet Party, then that way I can do the Fresh Freesia Flowers. But I haven't decided whether I'm going to do... There's two cups. There's one with leaves, and then there's a striped one. And I kind of think the striped one, because I like the more color to it. Oh, do we want to do a lemon? I don't know if I want to do a lemon on this one. Because I did the lemon on this one. Yeah, I'm not going to do a lemon. Because I did the lemon on this one, because it had a lemon right there. And right there. So I said, oh, I'm going to throw on a little lemon. And it brought out that yellow. Now, there is a tiny, tiny bit of yellow in this. But not enough that I think I want to... Um, bring it out but what I did do is I did use these dies here and I think I cut some I might I 
have a couple little, I don't know. Yeah, I have a couple little flowers. I, I, I cut these little things here, so I might put those instead of the lemon. But that's what we're aiming for, and I'll show you how to get this this string to look like it went into this cup because this is all one piece. It's not like layered. So I'll show you how I did that. All right, so let's get started. Let's do, I'm going to do the striped. I wasn't sure. I just don't know how, if the stripe would look good when we have this. So we'll have to play around because that, that's striped. All right, we'll see. All right, so I have my orchid. This is Orchid Oasis. Oh, you know what I pulled out too? Because I pulled out some um, masking tape. This is the post-it note um, labeling. It's cover-up tape. But, but Stampin' Up! also sells um, sheets of masking tape. So you could use that. I need my little, I need this. Because I mean, I'm going to be stamping. And these are um, photo polymer stamps. So let's see. Let me grab. I think I might stamp one of each. And then we can decide. Now, um, the cup's got to go down the bottom, like maybe a quarter inch from the bottom, because then we have the greenery. And I have that over here. That'll be stamped in the, the other color. Okay, so let me, I'm going to stamp two different ones. All right, so we'll make two, and then I can decide which one I want to use. All right, so I'm going to ink that up. Oh, I kind of tipped it a little bit. Hang on. Let me just wipe off the extra. And don't forget, if you're watching, say hello. Let me know where you're watching from. I always like to know where people are watching from. I don't know why. Makes me feel like I'm getting out in the world. <laughs> All right, so we did that one. And we, oops, I almost, I almost picked up the leaves. Well, I did pick up the leaves. All right, now these are wide strips that are going to take the color. So make sure when you're stamping that you don't have any bubbles oops see like I just got a bubble and I want to take a piece of scrap paper I don't know whether it was like a fleck of something but I'm going to try to clean it off and then I'm going to stamp it again but it's just that mistakes you can you can see bubbles and stuff so so just check it make sure it looks pretty solid and when you put it down you want to put it down and don't, you don't want to just, you just don't want to slam it down and lift it up right away. You kind of want to put it down and hold it there for a second. I'm put, I, my one hand never leaves the stamp because I don't want it to rock off. But I put some extra pressure with my other hand. I'm not squishing it. I'm not pushing really hard. I'm just holding it firmly. And then we'll lift it up and voila. Now we did get a little speck. See that? That was a little bit, but I didn't notice it. But that's okay. Because if you buy, if you, what I would do is when you buy your stamp, these in colors, there are five in colors, right? There's a set of the five stamps that go with it. I mean, five markers that go with it. So here is, this is the Orchid Oasis. So I can just go in and just do a little teeny touch up. I probably didn't even have to do that because our tag would have covered that. But that's okay. At least it's covered in case our tag doesn't. All right, we may use that color. In a little bit so I'm um, trying to decide now do I want to do hmm I think I might stamp this one again I don't I don't I don't like what's happening with that one I don't know why but it looks like it kind of maybe I, I moved it a little I don't know so that was two and a half by three and a half right so I'm just gonna quickly cut another piece and the right place two and a half but yeah I'm just gonna I'm gonna stamp that again I don't know why it just kind of looks like it's kind of getting fuzzy maybe I this ink pads brand new so maybe maybe I put too much ink on it we'll see I'll do it again and you guys might not be able to see it on TV and you guys might not care so much it might just be me I'm just kind of picky sometimes that's a little better but yeah it is the ink pad it's very juicy all right so let me close this up and so we have that, we have two. Now we're gonna stamp the leaves. And this is so pretty because you don't have to put the leaves in the teacup. You could just, you know, you could hang a, a piece of lemon over the edge and put this thing in here. But I just think it's so cute. I love when you can do this kind of stuff, put like different things. So we're gonna 
put these leaves, oh, I have to get my head in the way probably. I've got to pull it down towards myself because I really have to look at this and go straight up and straight down. All right. All right, and then I'll do this one over here. And we don't need to, but like I said, I'm, I haven't decided which one I want to do yet. It depends on how they look over our, um, we have to decide which piece of designer paper we want to use. All right, let me get rid of those and let me close this up. And now we want the little flowers and they are all together in one stamp and they don't fit exactly. There's two spaces here that I try to aim those two big flowers in. So I'm gonna ink that up and try to aim those in those two spaces. Doesn't have to be exact, they don't fall on top of they don't fall on top of like a stem or anything. You're just gonna kinda um, get them. I, I like to shoot for those two blank spaces. All right, that's pretty. All right. And then we have to stamp on our tag. And what do we, what color do we want? I think we could do blue, but I'm thinking of maybe doing it in this. Let's see what it looks like. And the little, um, it's the, the it's not a tag. It's really a tea bag, but I'm calling it a tab. But it says it's time for tea. You could also stamp on here if you wanted to, sweet or I miss you, enjoy or I just can't thank you enough. So there are little little things that can go on there. I'm gonna do this. It's time for tea again because I have it all mounted and everything. And get one of these. I could actually since I have three of these. Maybe I'll do it in different colors. Time for tea. Yeah, because that's kind of light. We might not be able to see it later. So let me do. So we have one in, since I cut three, I might as well do. Do each one. Looks good here. Nice color. Oh, thanks, Ellie. All right, so let's do one in, let's do one in the green. Let's do one in each of these colors I'm using. And I did, you couldn't see, but I went off to the side and cleaned this on my scrubber that's off to the side and I do want to put well, let's see let's get this one done I do want to stamp the back of our card I have a feeling I'm gonna like the the blue I don't know well we'll have to see but I think I'm gonna use I think I'll use the blue on the back and on the back I'm this is the back piece of the two and a quarter by five and a quarter um, I am using, let's see, let's get together soon. All right. You could, oh, do I want to do thank you? I was thinking I might put thank you on the front of the card. Ooh. Oh, there's one of those little green flowers I cut out. Um, yeah, I'm going to do let's get together soon. No, actually I'm going to leave the ins the back blank. Because this might be your card if you win it, and you might not want to have anything on the back. So I'm going to take that off. All right, because you might, you might not want to. Maybe I'll just, you know what I can do? Is I can put a couple of little flowers. That's what I'll do. I'm just going to put a couple of these little purple flowers on the back, on the inside. The back piece, I should say. It's not inside on this card. So let's just do... Maybe I'll just do, oh, I need a piece of scrap paper. Um, I had a piece, where did I put it? Because I want to go off the edge, so I'll use a piece of scrap paper. There, yeah. so that'll be the inside. Oh, maybe I'll do it on the top. So I'll flip it around, I'll do exactly the same thing. Kind of one in the center of the corner, and one off the side. In the side like that nice all right that's what the back so now if you are the winner of this you can choose your own saying or not put anything in the back okay next is next now we have to now we have to make some decisions so I'm going to take all this off of here and get rid of my little now this is the that isn't that a good idea with the flowers do it one way Ellie do it in this corner, flip it around, and do it in the other corner. And watch, when we put it on the back, this is going to go back here, right? It's going to be so pretty with it when it goes off the edge. 
and and um, you could put little rhinestones in the center of the whole flowers. But isn't that pretty? The way they go off the edge, and that's a good way of flipping it, so you can do exactly the same design. All right, so that's the back of our card. So that's where you'll be writing now. Now we have to make some decisions, people. All right, we have we have two sets here. So the first <laughs> the first decision will be the background, right? So I'm going to just do this and this. All right. And um and then we have decisions of this. So here's one choice. That's see that's pretty like that, but I I kind of think that is that too busy with the stripes and that? And it could be this, or it could be what I kind of like maybe is, I think I like the stripes. I'm going to go with the striped teacup. All right, now is that background too busy? So that's the first choice, right? The next choice could be this. What do you guys like? The stripes, or what is this called? Um, it's not really gingham. Lattice, lattice. I, I think I like the striped cup, so we'll, we'll switch to that. Striped cup, and do you like the, the lattice, or you like the stripes? So there's, there, so I know I'm going to use, I think I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to use, I, I am going to use this. So let's do this. We, we'll make some decisions, and you guys can, so Susan likes the blue, okay. Help me out, guys. All right. So I'm gonna now that that's on, they'll be easier to. So that's the first. Is, I do like the fresh freesia, so I'm glad we did that. So it's either the green stripe. So El, Ellie likes the lattice also, I like that. You guys don't think it's too much blue? I think that's pretty. All right, so we'll have two blues. Well, Lattice is the blue one. Anybody else before I glue things down? Going, going. you like, did you ever watch a few, uh, what is it? Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Bueller, Bueller. All right, you like it with the blue? All right, so we're going to, we're going to do the Lattice. Got more teacups on the back. I think I used this. Did I use this? Oh, yeah, yeah. One second. That was, I love the way this card came out. Uh oh, that's that. See the background? I used it there. Isn't that cute? I love that card. Oh, and I see, I did, I used that flower stamp on the back of that. And look at what I did with the leaves. I just went off the edge. All right, I'm getting sidetracked. <laughs> All right, so we're going to put this here. Yeah, I think I do like the blue kind of pulls out the um, colors from the designer paper on the two, oops, on the two sides. My finger got caught under there. Okay, the contrast with the lavender shows up better, yes. Okay, so we have that, and then we're going to put, oh, you know what I forgot to do before I put this down? I think it's too late. Let me see if I can get this off. Oh, I can. I forgot about making the slit. I did good. So let me grab, I'm going to grab my silicone mat for a sec to stick that down. Because I forgot, I want to make a slit. So I grabbed my exact, an X-Acto knife and I want to do it on, this is a pierce mat so it's okay to do it. I don't think this will stick to that now. So I'm going to make a little slit kind of in the middle of this card right along the top of the cup. Just a little teeny slit like that. All right. And that's what these are good for. So make sure your slit went all the way through, which it did. See? And then, this is the fun part. Um, here it is. I'm going to take a piece of my twine and I'm going to stick the end. Now, of course, do this before you put all your adhesive on this. I just forgot. All right. So I'm going to stick that through, and then 
you can either tape it down with scotch tape. <clears throat> Excuse me. I got a frog in my throat. This is tear and tape. I just happen to have it handy. So I'm going to tape it down with a little tear and tape. But you can use scotch tape. And now we have our little um, string coming out. And then I'll take my bone folder and very gently kind of almost press down that seam and it, it kind of disappears you know people are going to be like what how did she do that all right so that's gone oh i just ripped it a little huh oh no i didn't no i didn't it's fine okay all right so now we have our string there which is good now i can put it on this um i think i might put a little bit more since i pulled it up I'm just looking at the comments, see if I missed anything. I don't think I said hi to you, Jackie. Hello, thanks for joining me today. All right, so this is going to get centered like that. And we have our string. It really doesn't need to be this long. But that's our white twine. All right, now, oh, it's so cute. All right, so this is going to go in on here, right? And... I am going to put adhesive, but I don't want, this is going to stick out a little bit, and, and people aren't really going to see it because when you open it, it's going to look like that, but I don't want it to stick down on here, so I'm going to stay like, um, I'm going to keep like a little bit of distance away from the edges, and then I'll show you what I'll do is I'll just put like this, but I'll, I'll keep those left and right edges, and then since it's going to go on here, right, right in the center, before I put it down, I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive along the edge here and here, just on the very edge. Make sure it didn't go over the edge. Just to, That way it'll, it'll tack the little sides where I don't have adhesive. Right? I don't know. This is making it difficult. I don't need that anymore. All right, so then I'm just going to kind of put this down, and I'm going to center it left and right and then just I guess top and bottom too but just eyeball it just like that right and see now there's no adhesive showing on either either side cute right and look isn't that cute and it opens up it's gonna get even cuter when we add the, the little uh, so now we have to make another decision ladies all right let's put on so I cut out have I told you I grabbed this stencil here? I mean that die. And I cut out, let me get them. I cut out some flowers. Um, goodness, they're little teeny pieces. I don't know if we're going to use all of them. But I think we might just use the two two of them. Because it, I think it needs something like, I put, the, I put the lemon on this guy, on this card. So I think I need to put couple flowers uh, over here right so maybe we'll get our so that all these these five pieces cut from this one die here but I think I'll just use I think I'll just, maybe I'll, I could use these little ones for extra I might add those to the top so we'll leave those off to the side may end up putting those on the card itself on the on the greenery now we have to side now with those to the side here, I'm not gluing them down yet, but now we have to decide on our tag. Do we want, I don't think I want the green one since I'm putting, although, although I don't know. Yeah, I don't think I like the green one. That's too much green. Now here's the Fresh Freesia. You guys have to decide again. Oh, Jackie's already decided. <laughs> And, yeah, I do like the blue, too. I think you can see it better, because this is kind of light color. And then we have this one. I don't think it's bad that it's, you know, too close to that. But I think that's good, too. So, now we can put this. And I think I need it just about that length, too. So I'm going to take my tear and tape again. Does anybody else want to vote before I go ahead with the blue? So I, I think that... Um, I think that about 
about that's what I need. So I'm going to kind of just put it like that and take some tear and tape. I guess we're going with blue. No one else has voted. And I'm going to put this tear and tape right on here. And I'm going to trim. Oh, i got to get my other scissors just in case I hit some of that adhesive. There. So now we have our little tag. You could leave it loose, but... Oh, I dropped my flowers. You could leave it loose, but I'm going to put a dimensional on the back. So you can grab a dimensional. Blue, cute, cute. Hey, Beverly. Yeah, I like the blue, too. All right, so... But that's nice when you can do something like this with the different colors and kind of audition it. All right. I'm going to put the tag there and leave that kind of loose. Now let's put these on. What I'm thinking is I'm thinking of putting one down flat. So let me do that. Well, I think I'm going to use liquid glue for this guy. So I'll put one down flat. A little bit of glue. I'll hold it there for a second. And I'll put the other one up on a dimensional. But I'm going to leave the glue out because I was thinking, I don't know, maybe these are too big. I was thinking of just gluing these on. And it stuck to my finger in a couple of spots. I don't know if it just makes it too busy. You can't even tell, can you? What do you guys think? I'm going to get a mini dimensional for this guy. What do you guys think? The mini dimensionals, they're so cute. See how little it is? But it fits perfect on stuff like this. That's cute. And I'm going to put my rhinestones out. And I take your pick tool. And I'm going to put them on the flowers here. I think that's cute. And then on these two big ones. Well, not big, but these two. But I like to put an even amount, so I need to put another one. So I, do I put one right here, maybe? Oops, like that. Oh, it's not. There it goes. Like that? I think so. I don't know. What do you think about these pieces? I don't know. I think they just kind of. Do you, do you think I should add those? Because I have three of them. What do you think? Is it just too busy? Yeah, it does add a little bit of dimension, but I don't know whether it's just making it too busy. I, if I put it up on a glue dot, it would help them um, be more dimensional rather than just glue. I don't know. I don't know if I want to do it or not. I don't think I want to. I, no, I like it without it. I'm taking those away. I'm taking them away, but I'm going to stick them into my little bucket over here. All right. I think that's cute. What do you guys think? We're done. Isn't that a cute card? It's a, it's a really simple fun fold, right? And there's where you'd write your note. And this will fit into our regular size envelope, right? Very cute. I like that. I like that a lot. So let me move everything out of the way so we can see the two cards. Oh my goodness. This was fun. I'm glad you guys joined me. And don't forget to comment if you're watching and you haven't commented yet. You can comment here on Facebook or if you're watching this on YouTube um, later on, because I'll, up I'll upload this to YouTube. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and please hit subscribe. I'm trying to build my um, list of subscribers. And if you're watching, and, and comment there also because I took the names from there also. Besides the whoever commented here and whoever comments on YouTube will um, 
be in the drawing and can I'll give them a choice you can either pick the card that sweet sorbet card that I made earlier today or you can take the fresh freesia card so you can decide which card you'd like for your um, prize for commenting so I will I will check back on um, between now and Monday I mean I check back often you had to leave for a few minutes oh well, you missed us making it but you can always watch the replay Pauline if you decide to make this but um, we were I was talking about putting a thank you on here I was thinking of putting a circuit but I don't want to change it I like it the way it is um, so you guys can decide on which you would like whoever um, ends up earning the kit I mean the card all right so comment either here on Facebook or on on YouTube either place will get you into the entry to win this card Now, don't forget these are the cards for my card class to go right if you place an order for $50 not only will you get to pick out um, a celebration item you'll also get my card kit that makes these four cards and you'll get enough to make two of each of these everything's cut for you except uh, everything on these three cards everything will be cut for you on this one these will be cut for you but you will have to um, stamp your teacup and these leaves and die cut them yourself it wouldn't be too hard I guess to cut it out but um, you also have to cut out your lemons so you would either need the dies or you'd have to fussy cut those but that is my August cup of tea card class to go free You'll get them free with an order of $50 or more. Time for tea. Yes. <laughs> yes, Ellie. Um, and um, the virtual card class, those got shipped yesterday. So if you did my virtual card class, the, the um, Cottage Rose card class, that those shipped yesterday. So you should be getting that. Um, they usually... Um, arrive in like two to three days so you, sh you could get it tomorrow or Monday but um, but these won't ship till after the 15th so shop $50 or more and you'll get the free kit plus you'll get to choose a celebration item if you spend $75 or more you're gonna get a free pack of embellishments and I'm trying to think what did I use on this I use pearls and rhinestones I'm not sure what I will give for the free um, embellishment pack yet but maybe it'll be one of those so um oh and and don't forget if you do it my car class to go six months in a row then you're going to get to choose 25 dollars in product free from me all right so that's one of the perks about um getting my card kit every month okay excuse me okay folks that is it for today i hope you enjoyed this facebook live and i hope you have a wonderful weekend if like i said if you're watching this on youtube or even if you're watching on facebook head on over to youtube and hit subscribe for me please i really appreciate it all right folks take care have an awesome weekend see you next time bye bye